Hi guys, this is Stella. Welcome to the things I do. Today we're talking about spider mites on citrus trees. Hi guys, what you are looking at is a red spider mite on my mayor lemon tree. There's a few on there, but there is one that is quite active. It's moving around all over the place. This is before I spray it. I'm getting ready to spray it. What you are looking at is my mayor lemon. And what looks like dust is actually sulfur powder. I always get a big problem with red spider mites whenever I bring my mayor lemon and my lime tree in for the summer. And I have tried different things, but the only thing that I have found that works for me is sulfur powder. I'm going to show you, I'm going to see if I can get a close up here on the spider mites. There you go. All those little dots you see on that leaf, they're all spider mites. But they're all dead. And this year, for some reason, I had a bigger problem than normally. But I have sprayed it, and they're dead. Later on, I'm going to give you the recipe, but what you need to make sure is that you spray this baby down good. You spray it good to the point of runoff on the top, on the bottom, on the stalks everywhere make sure you get it nice and soaking wet to make sure that it kills all of the, the spider mites that are on there now what I am going to continue to do is I am going to spray this once a week for three weeks that way I know for sure that I have gotten rid of all of the spider mites on this baby also mayor lemons are pretty heavy feeders and so for the winter time, I give them a special citrus fertilizer for winter time, and in the summertime, I give it a good fertilizer for the summertime. Because as you can see, even though I have brought it in, it is continued to bloom. It's full of blooms. The smell of a lemon blossom is so wonderful. And whenever I come in this room, I can smell it. As you can see, there are lemons that are getting pretty ripe there. They're not quite ready, but they will be. And so I just want to make sure that I give, give him a good dose of some sulfur powder to kill all the spider mites and a nice fertilizer. And so I'm, I have a video of some live spider mites for you to see. And then I'm going to give you um, the recipe on how I make this sulfur powder solution that I spray on my mayor lemons and on my lime tree. This one is also in bloom. Okay, here we go. This is the recipe that, that I use for my spider mites for um, to kill spider mites and white flies. It takes care of a lot of different pests that will attack your plants. And I use sulfur, but you have to get the dusting wettable. Very important because if it's not wettable, it's not going to mix real good with your water. And I mix it. You could just sprinkle this on your plants if you want. But I use it um, in water with a little bit of soap so that it sticks and it's easier to get it under. And it sticks to the leaves and it just makes it real easy to do. And what I just do, I just grab two tablespoons, well, two heaping spoons like this. There's no specific recipe. It's just you eyeball it. A little bit of soap. It doesn't have to be done. It could be any kind of dish soap that you have. The purpose for the soap is to stick, make it stick to the leaves. Also, another thing that's important is that the, the powder is not as fine as I would really like it to. You can get a better sprayer, but this is what I have, so this is what I'm using. I let it settle a little because the bigger solids go to the bottom. And also, if you can tell, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. I cut it because when it settles, 
And if you get all that powder stuck in the in this little tube, it will clog it. So I just mix it. Pour it in there. See, there's a lot of solids on the bottom. I don't waste that. I throw it on my plants outside. And this is really good for, it controls black spot, powdery mildew, leaf spot, rust, and brown canker, brown roses. But what I usually use it the most for is for the spider mites. The spider mites are so hard to kill. And so I just... You know, grab my spray and spray it. Just like that. And just leave it on there. So there you go, guys. That is my solution for the spider mite problem. Hope you like this video. If you like it, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.